Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So this is one I'm going to actually take a look at that I picked up when I went to Party Source. And it was one of the uh, crowlers that they had at Braxton Labs. Um, if you saw the unboxing video more recently, a great deal that I picked up on these beers. I ended up getting this crowler for $7 um, as they were doing all their guest taps at that price as they were looking to get those off the taps and get other things on. And this is actually from Avery Bruin. It is their Avery Bon Bon Cerise. And I'm gonna pull up an image of it with a little bit more detail here in a second. But it comes in at 14.6% ABV. The date I picked this up was January 9th. Today is January 11th. Um, you know, when you get a crowler, I asked them how long you could probably keep it here because I have a few other pairs in there, but they swear at least two months, usually up to three. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, drink at this point because I'm dying to taste this baby. Usually it is $27 a crowler what they charge, and I got it for seven. So $20 under the price of what it usually is. And then when you look here at the beer itself, barrel age series from Avery, uh, stout aged in bourbon barrels with cherry, cacao nibs, and vanilla beans. Now on this label that I pulled off the line, it said 15.5%. On my crowler, it does say 14.6. I looked online and it also said 14.6. So maybe it was a certain batch that this one was a part of. Uh, as they said, it just produced 1,700 cases. And then maybe a later one came out where it was at 14.6, but that is what the uh, ABV is on the beer that I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and get this baby open, get it into the glass, see what it tastes like. I always enjoy some of the Avery beers. And uh, man, they are a brewery that definitely has killer ABV on their stuff whenever you pick them up. A little bit of a leak here from the can. Give me one second and I will be right back. I'm gonna clean up a couple drops on the desk. All right, everybody, I am back now and I did get that cleaned up. Now on the beer right now, I have a head just over a finger. It came out to be about two fingers initially. So it did settle down a little bit here. Nice brown color to it, tannish color. The body itself, nice dark color. I get a light behind it. Not getting anything through, so we must go ahead and call that jet black. Not even trying to get any of the notes right now. I'm already picking up the aroma coming out of the beer. You get a nice amount of maltiness. You really pick up that booziness coming out, the, out, of, out of the beer, out of the glass itself. You're picking up a woodiness, so you're getting that bourbon, getting some of that vanilla. It's really got a nice feel overall to everything on this one. Not having to sniff too hard, nice aromatics. Getting a little bit of that coffee in the background as well. Let's go ahead and get the taste. Wow. That is really a smooth beer. Gotta grab a coaster for my glass here. You get a nice feel of the flavor really coming through. You're left with a nice aftertaste feel of the flavors being left on the tongue and in the mouth. They have a little bit of a stickiness there from the, uh, the beer itself as well. You really feel it on the inside of the, uh, the cheek area, a little bit down here under the lip area where you're still sucking out a lot of that flavor Get a little bit of a nice roastiness there as well. Duration is lasting around very nice. It's a very well put together beer here. Definitely enjoying this one. Got the nice tones of chocolate in there as well. Have a little bit of that syrupy type feel. You get some of the thickness in there on the beer. It is put together very well. This is, um, you know, it's kind of like a dessert in a glass, but not being one of those kind of decadent, over rich type desserts in the glass. When you think of some of the beers, like the pastry stouts, it's got a nice quality to it, a nice subtleness to it that provides a great flavor. It really leaves you in a nice spot of uh, really enjoying this one. 
at 14.6 it will sneak up on you so make sure you know your level of what you can handle on the alcohol but um body wise you would think it'd be more of a uh a warmer sensation you'd be getting from this type of abv especially if you know some of the avery beers you would think it'd be more of a full body type thing but this one it's got a full body but it's not to a point where it's overdoing anything it's really just a nice smooth uh dessert type bourbon barrel beer um it's just something you can really kick back and enjoy i'm digging this one definitely glad i got it i kind of thought about before maybe getting more than one since i was there that's such a good deal i'm kind of thinking maybe i should have got a couple more since i can keep them for two months at least and keep those in the uh, cooler and i may go back because it is still the weekend but i would say if you're not familiar with the beer check it out the Bon Bon Cerise again you get a nice cherry feel coming through you have that cocoa you have that coffee you have the vanilla you have the bourbon everything comes together nicely with Avery beers as they usually do and this is one I would definitely say to uh, pick up and give it a try so thanks again for swinging by to check out another video again this is the Bon Bon Cerise I don't know if I said that right. I should have checked it out, but I believe that maybe how you say it. If not, anybody can feel, you know, they, they know how to say it. They want to correct me. That's cool, too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, you want to see more videos like this. Make sure you do subscribe. And I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> Your ass better come!